In this video, we use a technique called interval bisection to find approximate solutions to equations of a form fx equals naught. Best illustrated, I think, with an example. So we start off with this. Show that there is a solution of fx equals x cubed minus 3x plus 1 equals naught in the interval 1, 2. Find an interval of width 0 0.125 which contains this solution. Okay, let's go about that. The first part is quite straightforward, something which we've done many times. We first of all find f of 1, which equals 1 minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 1 f of 2 is going to be 8 minus 6 plus 1, which is 3. We have a change of sign. We also have a continuous function. Therefore, there is a root or a solution in the interval from 1 to 2. Now, for interval bisection, that means cut in half. So if we're going to cut in half, we need the midpoint of 1, 2. That's quite easy. That is 1.5. So now we look at f of 1.5. f of 1.5 is minus 0 0.125. We already know that f of 2 is 3. Make that look nicer. Which tells us, therefore, that there is a root in the interval 1.5 to 2. Change of sign, continuous function, root in the interval 1.5 to 2. Notice we've now got a, a root in an interval of width 0 0.5. Interval bisection again means we want to take the midpoint again. The midpoint of 1.52 is 1.75. So we look at f of 1.75. f of 1.75 is 1.109 with a few more figures. We know from above we want a negative one, so we know that f of 1.5 is minus 0.125. We have a change of sign, therefore we've got a root in the interval 1.5 to 1.75. That is an interval of width 0 0.25, not quite as far as we want to go yet. So interval bisection, two equal halves, we need the midpoint. The midpoint of 1.5, 1.75 is 1.5 plus 1.75 divided by 2, which is 1.625. So now we look at 1.625, f of 1.625. Pressing the buttons on the calculator, that gives you 0 0.416. We know from above that f of 1.5 is minus 0 0.125. We've got a change of sign. We've therefore got a root in the interval 1.5 1.625, which is of width 
0 0.125. So we've answered the question. There is a root or a solution to the equation in the interval 1.5 to 1.625, and that is of the required width. This is in your textbook FP1 on pages 33 to 34.